Good day everyone, I am Kate Lorraine Kanumay from BSN 111B and today I'll be showing you my return demonstration in performing proper hand hygiene or hand washing. So hand hygiene is essential because it is a primary measure to prevent infections and the most effective way to prevent the spread of microorganisms. But before we start, we need to ensure the completeness of all the necessary equipment needed. So we have here liquid soap, or you can use bar soap, sink with running water, tissue paper, a garbage can here, and a lotion, but this is only optional. So the organization and completeness of all the necessary equipment needed ensure our efficiency as student nurses. Now that we are all set, we can now proceed to the hand washing. The first thing you need to do in hand washing is you need to stand in front of the sink. Do not allow your uniform to be touched during the whole procedure because this sink is considered contaminated and it may carry organisms from one place to another. The second step is you need to remove all of your jewelries but since I don't have any jewelries with me, I can now proceed to the next step. So the next step is you need to turn on your water and make sure to adjust its course because water from the sink is considered contaminated and it can contaminate your uniform so be careful in this part. The next step is we need to wet our hands from the wrist area pointing fingers towards the bottom of the sink. So always remember that your hands should always be below your elbow so that water can flow from the more cleaner area towards the more contaminated area. Also in this part, we need to check your hands, your cuticles, and your forearms with any abrasion, lesions, or any open wound. So since I don't have any lesions or any cuts in my hands, forearms, and cuticles, I cannot proceed to the next step. So the next step is we need to lather our hands thoroughly with liquid soap within 15 to 20 seconds with firm rubbing and in circular motion. Next is to interlace your fingers and your thumb using the back of your hand for at least five times each. Next is to rub palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Now, rub the back of your finger with opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Now, we need to rub the back of our thumbs or we need to rub our thumbs clasped with opposite hands using rotational movement. So, like this. So this assessment usually consists with a minimum of 40 seconds and a maximum of 60 seconds. So the length of this hand washing determines the degree of contamination. So it will depend on the degree of contamination. So the next step is rotational rubbing backward and forward with clasped fingers up to my left hand towards my right palm and vice versa. So always remember to keep your water running to help rinse all the bacteria, the microorganisms, and dirt towards the sink. Now we need to rub our wrist and this part to avoid contamination. And the other one. Now we will rinse our hands thoroughly and inspect for remaining dirt and soap using running water. So always observe body mechanics to avoid contamination. Next is to dry our hands from finger to wrist 
using the paper towel that we have here. So from finger to wrist. And now we can throw this in the garbage can. Now throw this in the garbage can. So this will help your skin to prevent from chopping. So the last part in this assessment is you need to turn off your faucet using the same paper towel that you used from drying your hands. And then throw this in the garbage can. And you can now use your lotion if you desire, but since I don't desire to use this, so I don't need to use this. So that's it for my return demonstration. And always remember that there are five moments in hand washing. Before touching the patient, before a septic procedure, after body fluid exposure risk, after touching the patient, and after touching the patient surrounding. So that's it for my return demonstration again. I am Katherine Kanumai from BSN 111B, a student nurse from Davao Doctors College. Thank you for watching.